we had to build a bridge that was a gap 18 inches. Um, we had certain materials that they gave us and a certain time limit, and it was just to see who could build the most efficient bridge. After we got done building, we had a platform that we had to put a bridge on, and then they load, loaded weights onto the bridge, and they took the maximum weight that your bridge held and then divided it by how much your bridge weighed to get efficiency. And they tested it to uh, destruction, so that's kind of fun. When they put on the last weight, it just exploded. So, it was pretty fun. We got first overall and first in the college division with uh, our bridge weighed 0.385 pounds and it held a weight of 216 pounds, which gives it an efficiency of 561%. We set it up on the uh, testing like area and I was like hoping for probably around 100 pounds. I wasn't really sure what to expect on the bridge. They just kept adding more weight, adding more weight. I was just getting even more excited. This felt really good to see it get over 200. So. I was so proud of our team this year. Um, they represented our university very well and they competed very well. Um, I'm a competitive person myself, so I, I was very eager to see this happen. Um, I was watching them through the bridge building process, so it was unique to see their thoughts going through it. Um, of course, there was another college team competing as well, and there's going to be more next year, so I think kind of building up that friendly competition and rivalry um, will be good. Uh, we do have bragging rights this year, so we did take home um, first place with the college division, and they did first place overall in the entire competition. So um, I think that's a big testament to the type of students that we have here and the quality of education that they get here as well with our engineering program.